But rather seek ye the kingdom of God, and all these things shall be added unto you. Fear not, little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushah, Bahashem, Rakakadash, double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS, whom rule well, teach well, being great examples to his younger brothers, and peace and blessing, salutations, and hopefully, I got to pushing this word in truth and in sincerity across the four winds in the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushah, pushing to get up out of here. Shalom to the hopefully, the believers. The listeners whom have came back to the obedience of the scriptures through faith in you, how about Shema Shah? And what I want to get into, okay, this morning, all right, with well, the afternoon, you know, so like you, all right, dealing with this um, article I found, okay, dealing with the trucker strike in South Korea, okay, and it said it sparks economic turmoil, risk global spillover, all right. So when you go into the article, it says the epicenter of the next global supply chain snarl could be in South Korea as a nationwide trucker, all right, strike broadens and is hindering domestic and economic activity with which may spill over to the rest of the world. And let you know that this is a global, okay, this is a global agenda that we see going forth. Okay, ever since, you know, they came, you know, out of these meetings, you know, from Davos, okay, we're seeing all these agendas gearing towards the same thing you know the shortening of the uh you know the shortages the food supply chain being hindered okay um you still see okay a push you know for gun control okay and what you see in division okay and it's being pushed on a global scale then you know this is a global agenda that we're seeing unfold okay it says bloomberg reports that the cargo truckers um solidarity union all right entered in its seventh day of strikes on monday causing 1.6 billion in disruptions for auto petrochemical steel and other top industries south korean steel making companies posco the world's fourth largest steel maker has already limited production at some factories while the impacts are spreading across the economy the strike has impacted companies in seoul the hardest Shares of Posco slumped nearly 4%. Hyundai Motor Company, uh, company fell 5%. Petrochemical Company, uh, Hanwha Corp, 4%. And LG Chemical, LDT, slipped 3.6%. Rota said about a third of the union members, 7,000, were striking Monday, and there is no end in sight. Deliveries of automobiles, fuels, all right, steel, and materials for semiconductor chips have been suspended or delayed, continued disruption of domestic shipments and factories, limiting production could have ripple effect across the globe, especially since South Korea is the top exporter of memory chips. The strike's impact all right, could be more severe this week as the fourth round of negotiations between the striking truck truckers and government officials failed on Sunday. The union demands minimum pay guarantees and is fierce about the soaring diesel prices okay and these elites know the ripple effect all these things will have man okay and diesel is what is how goods are being transported okay there's a direct check uh direct attack on every sect okay of the supply chain of food and other goods as well Okay, and it's gonna come to a time when these things are gonna cease. Okay, as we're gonna get, and it says, um, we were we are thinking of complete blockade. Union leader Kim Jake Wan told Reuters, indicating that they intend to block coal shipments to power plant in in Gunsun, North Jola Province. Reuters noted impacts to power will be limited, but shows and. An intensification of truckers' actions. 
Signs of global spillovers are materializing as container volume transported, okay, to and from the nation's 12 ports plunged 68%. Okay, and those ports go to other nations, man. Although your truckers bring, you know, goods that go to these ports, these ships that go to other nations. All right. And it says on Monday, compared with the average, all right, for May, according to the Ministry, all right, of land, infrastructure, transport, uh, infrastructure and transport at Port of Busan, the largest port in the country and the world's seventh busiest port, the world's seventh busiest port, inbound and outbound volumes were uh, half, halved, okay, versus their average amount, okay, and you go into the black, that's what they were, okay, but then you go to the blue, that's what they are now, and you have some that have, you have three, okay, ports that have went completely to zero, okay, so this is going to be, you know, this, this is going to be a ripple effect, man, and you'll see Biden pop up soon, and blaming something that's happening in America on what's happening over there. Okay, the same old two-step. <laughs> All right. That's why scripture tell us, you know, as we watch, this is um Sirach 5 and 15. It says, Be not ignorant of anything in a great matter or a small. You know, so it's good to just especially with these other countries, because they like to do trial runs in these other countries that are less armed. You know. They, they like to do these trial runs, but pretty soon, you know, it's going to come here. Things are going to come here, man. What's happening in China, what's happening in Singapore, what's happening in Shanghai, okay? What's happening in Australia, what, you know, all of it is going to come here, okay? Once they feel that they have the right plan to roll it out. And the scriptures tell you that after a while, okay, it ain't just going to be little limited strikes, man. It's going to be complete shutdowns, man. Okay, when you go to Sirach 12, not Sirach, Ecclesiastes, okay. This is uh, Ecclesiastes 12 and 3 says, In the day when the keepers of the house, okay, which is the economy, all right, shall tremble, and the strong men shall bow themselves, rich men shall be made humble in that day, man. There's going to be a lot of people that's going to go from millionaires to poor overnight, man. Okay. There's going to be a lot of people that have lived this upper middle class, you know, you know, this, 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 you know, these millionaires. Okay. I believe there's 21 million millionaires in America. Okay. There's going to be a lot of people that's going to be ruined by what the elites are finna uh, bring to pass, man. It says, and the grinders cease. Okay. And we see. It happening in parts, but pretty soon it's going to stop all together, man. Okay. And the ground is ceased because they are few. Yeah. It's, it's not enough people working to keep up, you know, with the supply and demand. And then it's not making sense to work with how high things are getting. It's like you're working for nothing, you know? So the less people can afford, the less they're going to work. Okay. And they're just going to go to taking actions in their own hands, man. Okay. <laughs> it says, and the door shall be shut in the streets. All right. When the sound of grinding is low, and he shall rise up at the voice of the bird, and that the daughters of music shall be brought low. Okay. So we're seeing the sound of grinding being brought lower and lower as they put, you know, these different things in place to create. All right. The grinding to cease to create. It's hard for people to work to create it hard for people to buy things man and cre to create havoc within the food supply chain man okay now let's go to Isaiah all right this is the book of Isaiah chapter 19 all right Isaiah 19 okay and um, 15 says, Neither shall there be any work for Egypt, which is over here in America, which the head, okay, <laughs> the, 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 the big bosses, okay, or tail, all right, the branch or rush may do. Yeah, it's finna affect everybody. That's why scripture say he calls it all 
both small and great, rich and poor. You see, everybody is finna be brought low, okay? So this man can have leverage with his agenda, okay? Again, you take that karagma, and that's the main thing, okay? To continue within his new world order, but we know he's finna be upset, man. This is Joel 5 and 12. It says he just disappointed the devices of the crafty. Yeah, all these plots and plans and schemes that this man has in place to bring forth his agenda. Okay, it's going to be disappointed, man. Okay, so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. He's not going to perform his global world order. Okay, under Satan. He's going to get to a particular point. He's going to be achieving things and he's going to get to a particular point. And Yahweh Bashim Shai is going to unleash wrath on this man. Okay. And he's going to be brought low at the end of the day. Okay. It says he taketh the wise in their own craftiness. Yeah, because all these look cute antics and uh, deception and, and, you know, all these little plots and schemes that this man has put in place is going to work against him, man. Okay, everything this man has set forth his hands to do to try to establish his uh, new world order is going to work against him, man. Okay, it says in the council of the fraud is carried headlong. Okay, and the council of the fraud is carried headlong. <laughs> okay, so this is the time, you know, that we're in, man, where this man is going to constantly be doing, you know, uh, scheme after scheme. All right, to bring chaos and suffering to the earth so people can beg for his solution, man. Okay, which he already has preached subscribed, and we know the end game is that Karagma. So, Lord, will you, brothers, and you, few sisters, were edified. Till next time, I say, Shalom.